This is Necrostevo, and I'm finally back from Dragon Con. A good bit over my con crud, or at least a little bit. You'll probably still hear a little bit of a crackle in my voice. But uh, there'll be some pictures from Dragon Con at the end of this battle. In the meantime, this is a singles battle that I had with uh, Natia or FC. You can see that the teams there are a little bit unbalanced, so I knew when I saw the team preview, I was like, well, crap. Because <laughs> we were facing down four legendary Pokemon. Caesar and Bisharp. Everything that he has is very powerful, uh, and I can't really break through any of his Pokemon with just one of mine. Uh, he has a pretty good check to all my Pokemon, so it's going to make uh, Donphan very important just to hit Landorus with Ice Shard if I need to, because it's probably Scarfed, especially if he leads out with it. Um, and Zoroark will be useful as well, just because it will resist Bisharp's I uh, Sucker Punch. And I can hit it and Caesar with fire attacks if I bluff the right thing. Um, and so I put Crobat in the back there just to discourage any uh, weird type moves coming from uh, some of his other Pokemon. So let's go ahead and get this battle started. I think I decided to lead off with Rose Raid just because it had a favorable matchup against most of his Pokemon. And those that I don't favorably match up against, such as Bisharp or Scizor, I outspeed them and I can put them to sleep. He actually leads out with Landorus. And I decided to stay in just to see what he did. Based on that U-turn damage, I know that he's more offensive because this uh, Rose Ray doesn't have any bulk in it. So I just wanted to put something to sleep. He decides to bring in his Zapdos to be put to sleep, which actually made me question if it was a sleep talk set or not. Uh, but that aside, I know he's probably going to switch out now, but I didn't want to go for the Sludge Bomb on the switch out in case he switched out on one of his two Steel types. Just when... Um, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't want to go for the Leaf Storm right away, just in case he switched out into a Steel type, because I do have Hidden Power Fire on this Rose Raid. And this is one that I actually bred back in 4th Gen, I believe, and I just randomly got a shiny one, so I decided to keep it. I was breeding for Hidden Power Fire Rose Raids. Uh, but now it's much more usable, because back then I think the Hidden Power was base 40 or something on this particular Rose Raid, now it's up to 60, so I decided to use it. Unfortunately, I missed that first Leaf Storm, which sucks because as we see from the damage on the second one, he would have died to two Leaf Storms. He is definitely more bulky. He just goes for Scald, attempting to burn me there. Um, really, really would have liked to get this Suicune out of the way, if only because it is very obviously a Rest Talk set. Um, I have Rest on my Rose Raid as well, just because Natural Cure will allow me to heal the sleep status upon switching out. And I knew that he would rest, and with minus two, I knew I could not KO him. Uh, so I just decided to rest up right there. And since he is going to be stuck in using Sleep Talk, I decided to go out into Crobat, hoping that I don't get burned by a possible Scald. More importantly, I can taunt him. Um, I can taunt him to stop him from using Sleep Talk, uh, Calm Mind, or Rest again. And then I can hit him with Brave Birds. He is probably max uh, defense using Calm Mind. But I just need to whittle him down to the point where he either is forced to switch out or at the very least um, is forced to uh, attack and, and, and I guess die off to his own. Um, not attacking me because I'm, I'm using Brave Bird. Unfortunately, Suicune's defenses are very, very high. Uh, Crobat is just not going to be able to cut it here. It's a little unfortunate because I really like using Crobat, but it wasn't as useful against the team that he had. Uh, a lot of his Pokemon, uh, for example, Landorus being Scarf means that Crobat doesn't outspeed it. Um, Crobat can't really break through Zapdos or Caesar or Bisharp on its own. Um, and then as we saw the damage that it was doing against Suicune right there, not really cutting it. So I'm going to go out into my Haxorus, which actually is carrying a Lumberry. And even at minus one, that Outrage does a ton of damage to Landorus. I was very proud of Haxorus for doing that damage. Uh... I think this Haxorus is one that I got from uh, a giveaway. I'm not really sure. 
I don't believe that I bred that Haxorus though. Uh, here I decided to go out into my Mawel. I expected him to double back out into um, his Deoxys defense, which is why I did that. I did not think he would stay in, but I'm actually happy I went ahead and did that because otherwise knockoff would have done a ton of damage, knocking off my Lumberry. Uh, here he actually overpredicts and goes for Taunt, which I thought he might do that, and so I really just wanted to get rid of Bisharp because it is going to be a thorn in my side for this battle. And so I'm able to just play rough and get rid of it. Unfortunately, I do not have any dark type attacks to hit this Deoxys with. So I'm forced to switch out and I couldn't even set up the sword stance that I had because he did taunt me. Uh, expecting Stealth Rocks, I decided to go out on the Salt Vest Dawn Fan, which I am starting to really like a Salt Vest Dawn Fan. Uh, it's just so useful. It takes hits really, really well. And here I'm just able to go for a knockoff. I was trying to just get rid of Deoxys's uh, residual recovery. And even at minus one, Landorus being four times weak to that Ice Shard means I'm going to be able to finish it off. Which is great. We see the confirmed Choice Scarf there, which is always good to see. Because now at least I know several of his other Pokemon probably aren't Choice Scarfed. Now, Caesar comes in here and now we have a problem because I don't have anything to stop this thing. Uh, I could switch in several Pokemon. But at the same token, I there's not much those Pokemon can do to it. Um, and I, I knew that Caesar was a threat in the back of my mind. But at the same token, it's like I there wasn't really much I could do to it. Even if I did bring in something that was faster, it has a bullet punch. And I don't really have anything that's bulky enough to live a plus four bullet punch. Now here I was sad to see that his bullet punch outsped my sucker punch. Because I was hoping to get some more damage on it before going out into Haxorus, with whom I do have Earthquake. And so I was just expecting the bullet punch to KO me, but Haxorus actually lives because I have Focus Sash on it. I completely forgot that I had that instead of the Lumberry. Uh, I guess it's good that I got rid of those Stealth Rocks earlier. And so I misclick and I go for Earthquake instead. I, I misclick and I went for Outrage instead of going for Earthquake. So I had a chance to win there and I kind of just threw it away by misclicking. Uh, and I don't know if he predicted me to misclick because he went for Roost, which effectively seals his victory. Uh, I think I could have KO'd it if I had gone for the appropriate move. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. I, outside of that really crappy misplay, I really enjoyed this team. It was uh, a bit outclassed by the options that he was using, but at the same time, it, it did kind of hold its own. He only had, um, I think, two Pokemon left. He had this left. Zapdos and Suicune, I believe. I think mean, that's all he had left. But yeah, we see that everything that I have left is just kind of too weak to take on the bullet punches there. Oh, we also had Deoxys. So yeah, that was kind of a 4 0, but eh, it is what it is. I enjoyed the battle. That's what's important. So if you guys enjoyed this match, make sure you leave a like, and uh, I will be coming at you later this week with the last part of my prediction series where we actually look at a battle and see how the predictions work out using kind of the formula that I gave you um, and the way that I think about predictions and things like that. So look forward to that, and in the meantime, I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye now.